Good afternoon and thanks for joining us here on News in the R on Galaxy Television. My name is Tife Tanimamo. The federal government has released the result of 2022 National Common Entrance Examination NCEE for admission into the federal government Unity Colleges. Minister of Education Malam Adamu while presenting, while presenting highlights of the results in Abuja sent. Now that the results have been released, the Federal Ministry of Education would ensure that all admission in processes are completed on or before Friday 1st of July 2022. The minister who was represented by the ministry's permanent secretary, David Adejo, sent the overall best student, Ajidagba Miriam, an indigent of Sokoto State, scored 201. He also said the criteria for selection of qualified candidates into federal unity colleges are 60% merit, 30% equality of state, and 10% exigencies. This year, the examinations took place in Nigeria as well as the New Republic and Togo. A total of 71,733 pupils entered for the examination. Out of this number, 34,030 were males and 37,708 were females. In terms of participation, 96% sat for the exams, that is 68,633 pupils of the 71,738. Only 4% were absent for various reasons that could be related to their own personal choices. Away from education, a member representing Adodo Ta Federal Constituency, Jimo Jubele, has drunk the immediate past Ogun State Commissioner for Forestry, Tunji Akiyosi, before the Federal High Court sitting in Abeokuto over the All Progressive Congress ticket for the constituency. Also drunk before the court is the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The last APC primary held last month to produce candidate for the constituency ended in failure on two occasions. However, Akiyosi's name appeared as the candidate for the Adodo Ota federal constituency in the list sent to the INEC by the leadership of APC. Moved by the development, the lawmaker dragged INEC and accuracy before the court, insisting that he is the APC candidate for the constituency. In a motion ex parte found before the court, the lawmaker is seeking the order of the court to restrain the APC and its agents from submitting the name of accuracy as the candidate of the party in the federal constituency pending the hearing and final determination of the Clements motion on notice. Ojibwele is also seeking an interim order of the court restraining INIC and their agents from receiving accuracy's name as the candidate of the APC in Adodota pending the determination of the substantive suit. He also prayed the court for an interim injunction to abridge the time within which each defendant are to file their responses to the originating process from 30 days to 7 days. And our chieftain of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Taiwo Kuye, has condemned the irregularities and had just concluded the AKT state governorship election. In an apparent reaction to the issue of vote by during the election, Kuye described the act as commendable, condemnable rather, and bad for the nation's polity. Kuye alleged former governor of the state, Ayodele Fayoshi, of being behind while the PDP lost the election to APC. While also attributing the loss to poor preparation, the PDP chieftain expressed the confidence that his party will win the Ocean State governorship election slated for next month. That the loss of PDP in that election was already in the picture. The self tied godfather of equity politics, equity PDP, who did not even vote. I of he was not even available at the day of election. Mm -hmm. He didn't vote. I stand to be quoted. He did not vote, and he, did, he was not even around. That, even that, 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 is, that is the one is the best for us. Okay. Number two, I don't want to talk about Wiki. Wiki is my friend. He's a real party man. When you want to talk of a political, you are not a real party man. Talk about him some Wiki. 